Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today we have the brand new Black Lion chest, the Jade Horizon chest, which is the mini orange tiger's cub uh, as the guaranteed drop, as well as the eternal forged weapons. We've got the Jade Tech wings returning from last time, as well as the new Jade Tech chair, which I have to look at in this menu for some reason. We also have the bright Inquisitor weapons returning. These were quite nice as well. Uh, we have the Glyph of Unbound, the Glyph of the Herbalist, uh, and of course the usual endless gears. So we have 20, 27 Black Line chest keys to open for the new uh, Jade chest. Let's keep the preview up so we can see what we're looking for. Preferably some of these items. Uh, let's see what the chest has in store. Got some dyes, got a revive orb. Got the guaranteed armor unlocked there. Now That's kinda this nice. Is fine. An eternal forged greatsword. That's quite nice, to be fair. A uh, weapon unlocked there. Hmm. Uh, transmutation charges. Nothing too fancy. Another die kit. The winter chimes. Got a miniature uh, ticket. Another miniature ticket. Another miniature ticket. Oh! An eternal forged longbow. Very nice. Rare and valuable. No, not really rare and valuable. Some regular armor unlocked there. Eleven keys left. It's not looking good. Ticket scrap. Uh, another armor unlock. More. Oh, uh, Bright Inquisitor Warhorn. Okay, not what I want. I want the Jade Tech chair and and the backpack would be nice too. Now this but is. I don't five. think it's going to happen this time. Two chests in a row. That we're out of the uh, unique item. We got a glyph of the Unbound though. So that's kind of decent. How much are they worth? 80 gold, not bad. And that's it. Guess we shall try a golden key. See what it gets us. Might as well. The 28th key gets us. Uh, uh, a ticket. I mean, I guess that is uncommon, but. <laughs> huh. That is annoying. We'll have a look at the chair in the menu anyway. Uh, this one right here. Ooh, that looks cool. I feel like that's one you can move around in as well. Much like the uh, inquest, where is it? Mark II chair. Which is the other floating chair we have. I don't think we have any other floating chairs. That is annoying. Not too bad of a chair, though. Uh, we also have the new... Where is it? We also have the new Jade die kit, which has a lot of Jade colors. So this is Warm Jadeite. This is Jade Ink. It's a bit more blue. Or Cyan, maybe. Here is Verdant Jade, which is a very green. They're really going all out with the green colors at the moment. Uh, we've got Jade Balance, another bluey one. Very nice. Energized Jade, also pretty nice. And finally, Deep Jade. Which is kind of a, at least here, kind of a Guild Wars 1 Jade color. The more blue is. Uh, but that is the new Jade dies. And now let's dive into the chest loot. Here we go. Right, let's start off with the dies. Quite a reward. So we got Glint's Ambition, which we don't actually have yet. That is currently 180. We got Gold Fusion, which is currently 366. It's probably going to go back up, but it'll be down for a little bit. We've got Ox Blood, which is 490. We got two white gold dies, uh, which are 390 each. We 
got a tarnished die. Which is one silver five. Got steel. Which is 390. We got purple tint. 18 copper, 19 copper. Put it at 17. And we got two irons. Which are 110 each. Very good. Let's go for the materials next. So the tier fives. Here's the tier six. Quite a reward. And finally, is it just that one? Yeah, the end of dragons materials bag. What's in these? Fish got some tales of adventure. That's kind of nice. Uh, chunks of resin and jade. Not too shabby. Of a, a mix. Let's do our armor unlocks. We got a Banner of Steel Warband. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> That's from uh, the achievement, right? Yeah. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm only four achievements away from it as well. Oh. And we also got the Stone Summit Gauntlets. They're not too bad. Now, the weapon unlocks. We got Air's Legacy Longbow. That's pretty nice. Can't show it off because I'm on neck. We got a Devoted Shield. We got a Gargoyle Hammer. And we got a Auric Dagger. Very nice. Consume those. We also got a Guaranteed Wardrobe Unlock for which we got Aqua Satin. And I think that's about it, unless is the new weapons. There is not, right? Steel Lotus we had already, I think. Pretty certain. I think. Um, do we get do we get the Cliff von Band, which is about 80 gold at the moment? We got the Bright Inquisitor Warhorn. 30 gold at the moment. We got the Eternal Forge Longbow, currently going for about 30 gold as well. And the Eternal Forged Greatsword, which is going for 25 gold-ish. It's pretty nice, that one. Uh, let's try one more gold key, just to try get that chair. Screw it. Oh, I need it. open it with the golden key. Of course, we got the Eternal Forge Shield skin instead. Uh, we also got a Tyrant Exchange Vage, which is not bad. A Solar Lunar Die Kit, from which we got Blue Ice. Which is worth 6 or 50 copper. Right, well, that is it for today's uh, demo, which is mostly just a Black Line chest opening. Be back soon over the weekend with some Sky Pirates Live. We'll be playing through the story, going for some achievements. And you can also check out this week's giveaway to be in with a chance to win some Black Line keys for yourself to try out in the new chest. The link for that should be in the end screen. That's it from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more in the future. Uh, you can join the Discord link for that's down below or the membership program as well. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed Sky Pirates and I hope you have a great weekend. Until next time, take care.